What's going on, guys? Have some more Vikings franchise here today. Vikings playing against the Green Bay Packers, who are 3-6. and six, And I said I was going to check on Landry Jones to see what was up, because Stafford was player of the week last week. So I checked the stats on their last game, and Landry got hurt after just two passing attempts. Stafford came in, played brilliantly, and now the Lions seem to have two very good starting quarterbacks. And oddly enough, they played against the Green Bay Packers in their last game and beat them pretty handedly 35 to 11 Rodgers with only 10 touchdowns at this point but only five interceptions James Starks getting the bulk of the workload on the ground for them and only averaging 3.2 yards a carry and receiving Greg Jennings still doing what he does but the numbers look a little down and AJ Hawk leading them in tackles Clay Matthews in sacks on a cold streak and Nick Collins leading in interceptions so we'll check out the standings now in the NFC North, and the Vikings and Lions have a tie, but the Lions win the tiebreaker, and a loss here for the Packers could potentially put them out of the race, needing six straight victories to get to 9-7. and seven. So Minnesota playing their first game in the snow, and here we go, Ponder handoff Adrian Peterson, cut right, cut left, making these defenders look silly early in the game. Adrian Peterson to the house, 82 yards. He'll dive into the end zone and do a little snow angel over on Lambeau Field. There we go, 7 nothing Minnesota early. And now Rodgers low snap, good protection, finds Randall Cobb. That's a great catch right there. That's going to be complete for 15 yards. We'll go to third and nine and looking right to James Jones, but he can't come up with a grab, and it would have been short anyways. So Minnesota takes over, handoff to Adrian Peterson, and he goes up the right side. There's another solid carry against this Packers run defense, but now third and ten for Ponder. Drops back, great protection, goes over the middle to Vasante Shenko, the veteran tight end for a 12-yard reception. Now in Green Bay territory, third and 11, Ponder under pressure. He is sacked, so Minnesota cannot get up any points on this drive. And the Packers take over now with only a seven-point deficit still. And clock runs out for Rodgers. And guess who? It's Christian Ballard once again having a monster second season in the NFL. And we'll take over the ball handoff. Adrian Peterson on the pitch makes a cut. And he gets outside. Goes over the century mark after four carries. And now first and ten. Ponder. Great protection. Only a three-man rush. And Ponder's just going to take off. Take what the defense can give him. I mean, Rodgers does it. In real life, and Ponder, he has the similar ability to run out of the pocket. And now Ponder on third and five, looking for Plaxico Burris. And he usually catches those, but he drops that one. First and ten now for the Packers. Rodgers, he steps up in the pocket. He's going to run just like Ponder did earlier. And he will get up to the Minnesota 37. Big game for Rodgers, but now third and ten. Great protection once again, but just a badly thrown pass. And that brings up fourth down, and they punted the ball in that situation. And now Ponder has it back to pass. There's Plaxico Burris making a catch for nine yards. Plaxico, he really impressed me, and I'm glad I signed him. I had doubts at first, but there's another catch by Burris. And he's just been reliable as I could have asked. Now second and nine, Ponder back to throw. Steps up in the pocket, and he's just going to run it himself. Plenty of white in front of him, not green, because it's obviously snowing pretty hard. And there's a first down rush for Ponder. And now third and four, back to pass again over the middle. Plaxico Burris once again getting behind that middle linebacker, Desmond Bishop. Great play. Burris shaken up, but he would be all right. Now third and goal, Ponder to pass. Looking to the end zone, doesn't want to force it. Rolls to his right, looks over the middle. There's a Roma should do. Eventually found the receiver who got open. And that's what great quarterbacks do. And now Packers punting the ball at 17 and nothing. And Kenyon Barner will field this at about his own 40. And he's going to take it up past midfield and get great field position for the Vikings. But here's a penalty you don't see too often. Unnecessary roughness, late hit out of bounds on Michael Mitchell. And that's going to give the Vikings an extra 15. They're at the 20-yard line for the start of this drive. We'll take that. Ponder back to pass. First play of the drive. Looking towards the end zone. One-on-one. -on -one. Michael Jenkins. Touchdown, Minnesota. 24-0. Green Bay is stunned, but they haven't been playing that well. And here's Rodgers going to Jermichael Finley, and he breaks Sean Jones' tackle, and Greenway finally catches up to him at the 20-yard line. Big catch for Finley. And now James Starks takes the handoff, but... There's Donald Butler putting him down before he can get the first down, and Mason Crosby has to kick a field goal. And then after a punt return that got him inside of Minnesota territory, they can't convert once again. 
Greg Jennings just short, and so Mason Crosby kicks another field goal. It's 6-24. Vikings defense, though, they're playing great. Donald Butler with the interception, and Minnesota snatches the ball back from Green Bay. We're ahead in the fourth quarter now. Not much happened in the third quarter. Just took off some time, played it conservatively, and now the Packers have the ball, and James Starks takes that handoff. He gets a big gain. That'll get him close to midfield. And then at the 50, Rodgers on second and six, going deep for Greg Jennings and Sean Jones. He has been slow to get over to receivers a lot. So when my safeties do come back off the injury list, I'm not sure who's going to start because Sean Jones has been pretty inconsistent when Tyrell Johnson, from what I remember, was playing pretty well. And now it's 24-9. Adrian Peterson, though, fumbles the ball. He has lost his fumble-prone player role, but there's a costly fumble, and Green Bay has an opportunity to get back in this game. First and ten play action, Rodgers to the end zone, overthrown, and he couldn't see it, but Donald Butler got injured on that play, and we'll get back to that in just a second, but Rodgers now high snap, he's going to take off, and there's a great play, Sean Jones making a tackle, and the fumble is forced, picked up by Antoine Winfield. And the Vikings take over. And Donald Butler, we have a trend going on this team with broken collarbones. This is ridiculous. It's the most common injury I've seen in this game. So now Ponder with the ball. And there's a catch to a Roman should do. Wasn't sure if he was in bounds from the looks of things. But apparently he was. Not going to argue it. It worked for us. So now third and two handoff Adrian Peterson. There's a first down. Moving the chains over 200 yards on the day. A monster day for Adrian. And now Toby Gerhardt takes it on third and one. And I like him in those short yarded situations. And first and ten now, Ponder play action, looking over the middle in the end zone. Michael Jenkins, beautiful play. Just how I drew it up. So Minnesota now with a big lead, 31 to 9. And Rodgers and the Packers still going at it. But Rodgers is sacked, and there is Christian Ballard. That would pretty much seal this game for Minnesota. They win 31 to 9. Adrian Peterson got the rock 26 times. Almost 240 yards and a touchdown. Minnesota dominated this game. The Packers had a chance at the end to get back in it, but some costly turnovers and some big plays by the Vikings defense kept Rodgers and crew out of the end zone in this game. Only nine points. So we get our seventh victory on the season. And we look like we're in pretty good shape. We'll preview the schedule here in a second, but... Just going over the statistics in this game, and Kevin Williams and Christian Ballard continue just to be absolute monsters in the middle. Our front four has been pretty scary. Donald Butler, he had an interception in this game, but is going to be lost for the season due to a broken collarbone. And so that will open up two roster spots. I'm not sure if I want to do anything with them right now. And here is a little recap of how our season's gone so far. All of those games are on my channel, so just check out the playlist, and if you missed one, you can go watch it. But we have a pretty good couple of games coming up here. I mean, the Seahawks and the Jaguars, they combine for one win. So hopefully, we can get the double-digit wins here pretty quick. Maybe lock up the division. It'll all depend on how Detroit plays. And if we win games that we should. So, if you missed it last episode against the Chicago Bears, you can check that one out. And then on the bottom, we have WWE 12. The game just came out. And the video below is my first match on the game that I played with live commentary with CM Punk and John Cena. So you can check out those videos, and I will see you guys later in the next episode of the Minnesota Vikings franchise series.